Franklin D. Roosevelt goes to his third inauguration, the only president to have been elected three times. Down Pennsylvania Avenue to the Capitol with the stately dome. Washington is crowded with 400,000 visitors. Chilly weather as the oath of office is administered by Chief Justice Hughes. You, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, do solemnly swear that you will faithfully execute the office of the President of the United States, and that you will, to the best of your ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. I, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Then the inaugural address. In the face of great perils, never before encountered, our strong purpose is to protect and to perpetuate the integrity of democracy. For this, for this we muster the spirit of America and the faith of America. We do not retreat. We are not content to stand still. As Americans, we go forward in the service of our country by the will of God. The inaugural parade always one of the stately events of American political life. The West Point cadets, their traditional perfection as they march and turn. Cadets from the Annapolis Naval Academy, followed by a crack unit of draftees of the new army. The President of the United States confronts grave problems of our national destiny, the peril of war, as he begins his third term. But today, attention is focused on the ceremony. Best of wishes, Mr. President, for your new administration.